Hello, this is Daniel and welcome back to the second part of the character rigging tutorial. This is the character that we have and this is our rig so far. Uh, in the last part we, we took a look at what the finished result will look like and we covered uh, creating the armature system and setting things up. Anyway, so in between last part and this part I made a couple of changes and I quickly want to cover them just so that you don't have any problems following along this tutorial. I think the most obvious one is that I reduced the spine from three bones to two bones. I did that because after thinking about it once again I feel like it's not necessary to have uh, that many well deforming uh, areas here. It's more work than it would give us a benefit. So, so I just reduced it again and this is what we'll work with. Um, also, I changed the names to chest and spine and hip so that it's very easy to tell which name is which one. I also added a prefix to almost all of the bones called def, that is for deformer, because these are our deformer bones, except for uh, the, the one here in the back, that's a controller because it does not deform anything. And as a deformer bone, we definitely need to uncheck the deform checkbox here. Uh, all the other bones have this checked on. Now there is one more exception actually, the root bone also does not deform anything, so definitely make sure that deform is not checked here. So, um, I also added fingers, that's also something I want to point out. Here they are. Uh, I decided to go with the naming of um, deformer, then name of the finger, then base, mid or tip, and then left or right and this way everything appears to work. So let's move on with our rigging. I previewed this in the last part but I undid it again so that I could do it properly this time. Uh, let's do the step again. I select the object, the character object first, then I select the armature system, I press Control p and um, parent them with automated weights. And now I think at this point I should quickly explain how things work. Um, again, we have this... Actually, this time it's still set up. So make sure that you don't have here a new armature modifier. You know, if it looked something like this for you, just delete the last one. Um, I mentioned this at the end of my previous video. So if you're not sure how this works, uh, go check it out there. Make sure that in this first armature modifier rig is selected here you have your vertex group selected over there and then everything should be fine and uh, you should have deformations already. Now uh, select the character object and go to weight paint mode and this is where you s see the weight painting. Actually just to make it easier for us to see it, uh, select the armature again in the armature tab. I like to use stick instead of the first one because then it's a lot easier to see what we're actually dealing with. So now back to our weight painting. Uh, you see when you select a bone with with the right mouse button uh, you get the according vertex group which is very useful. Um, I think you should definitely make sure that you select uh, X mirror here because see what happened just now I painted something over there here but it's not the same on the other side which is um, not very good. So let's just select X mirror because that way now if we make any edits here on this side they will be mirrored on the other side. And that's also the reason why it's a really good idea to have left and right um, here in the name because if this is not in the name of the group it will not work. Also you see that our controller bones do not have a, a vertex group that is because we disabled the deform checkbox at the beginning. So definitely make sure that you did not skip that part because it will only be troublesome for you. <clears throat> All right, so there are now many difficulties or a couple of mistakes that we have to deal with. For example, if we rotate the head, uh, usually what happens is that, actually this time it worked fairly well, but you see how the, the lower part of the face actually sort of deforms and it's not really um, how it would behave. We need to fix that for example. Also the hair, uh, for now we'll just assign everything to the head 
And these are the kind of things that I want to fix uh, first of all. So in edit mode, I'll do that over here. Um, I press N to show this menu and I want to show my weights just because that's easier. We're still in edit mode, just so you know. Uh, make sure to take a look at this here to really see which mode we're in. Uh, so I'll select the entire hair first of all. Let's make this our first edit. And we will assign it with weight 1 to the head and now everything is red. We could also remove it from the other groups. Um, actually we should do that. This is a bit... Make sure not to remove it from the armature group though. I'll just go through all of them quickly and... Or, hmm, wait a second. Is there a way to do that better? Um, let's just go through them and see where it's necessary. Because it's, after all, it's not in every group. So it might be in here, for example, from shoulder and upper arm, we'll remove it. As for arm, I don't think there's anything in there anymore. We'll definitely not have any influence at, with the fingers, so we can skip that. Here is a shoulder again, here's an upper arm again. Just remove the selected hair from these groups because I don't want them to interfere uh, with the hair at all. Fingers, we can skip them again. And that's it, I think. I just maybe want to check the spine, where was it? Here is spine, and the chest, this might be a problem. Okay, now I should have all of them. Now the hair is definitely only part of um, of the head, and this is what I want for now, because later on it will be easier to work with it. Now we need to fix the head as well. We, as I said, we don't want to have these deformations. Uh, so first of all, let's clean up the neck vertex group. This, uh, basically, blue means uh, it's assigned with a value of zero, so it's not related at all. And red means it has an assignment of 1, which means it's like linked to that bone. Uh, if you have multiple groups sharing a high value of relation, you know, you might not get a get it to follow the bone correctly. So always make sure that you don't forget that the vertex might be related to various groups and not just the one that you look at. So in weight page mode, if you go to uh, wireframe view and you uncheck this button here, what is it called? Let's see, limit selection to visible. If you uncheck that one, uh, you can actually paint through the object as well, which I will do just so that I don't accidentally miss any points in the back. And I want to work with a very, very smooth, uh, huge brush. So I make sure the curve is this way uh, I'm in a draw tool and I will set my weight to zero and then with this very big brush I start just making one click up here and and we are in X mirror mode so we don't have to worry about you know mirroring issues just make sure that the head uh, is not in this group anymore especially this area here you can make a couple of strokes on it and make sure that it's really not in a group anymore so this looks a lot better. On the other hand, we'll make sure that the head actually is part of um, well the head group. So I do the same thing. And this time I didn't really need to use the wireframe view, but I can to you know really make sure that everything is in there and everything looks smooth so far. So there you go, we fixed our first group and you can rotate that a couple of times to check if there's an issue. I suspect that there might be trouble with the, with the shoulders interfering here. So I quickly click on them to check if there's any any weight on the on the head, but it doesn't look like it, so, so we can skip that. If anything looks odd to you, you know, this is the main source of errors. Uh, you might have some other groups, maybe, you know, the arm or something interfere with it, so always check for that. Uh, the only thing I was not totally happy with is when you, maybe it's not too much of an issue, but you see how this kind of stands out too much. I will remove this completely from the group, uh, from the head group, and this one as well, maybe. That should fix our issue. 
yeah, it got a bit better. So make sure that this edge is not too soft or else you'll get, you know, will look odd a little bit. Let's quickly check for the other group again. Okay, over here we have it a little bit smoother. Ah, it looks great. I think that's good. That's what we were aiming for. This is a very extreme angle anyways. Usually you would mix it like this and this. And then it should then it should work. Uh, so let's move on. I want to add a bit weight from the you know the chest group to the neck actually. Because that way it will make it will look a bit softer. So it's hard to tell now because it's getting a bit messy here. I will uncheck that again. I want to do this not in painting mode but in edit mode because I know exactly which area I want to affect. So let's uncheck show weights. This is exactly the group that I've selected. And uh, what was it again? Show weights. And I want to add this with a not too strong weight to my chest group. So add that one in here. And let's see what the result is like. So we have a little bit of a curve now. And that's what I was trying to achieve. Um, let's see if we can increase the weight a little bit to get a better result. Maybe this area in particular a bit stronger. Let's see if, it, if we have a change. So you see how when you turn it you get this, this slight curvature. Uh, that's what I was trying to achieve again. <coughs> Now, in this group, we might need to smooth it a bit more. So here we might add a very... Just a little bit. Make it smooth so that you won't get hard edges. And of course we have intersections here at the moment, but this will be fixed later on with the deformer. Good. So far everything looks perfect. Let's move on. Uh, by the way, the easiest way to reset the rotation for a bone is you select it and you press Alt-R. If you want to reset the location, you press Alt-G and scale is Alt-S with you know the bone selected. Let's go ahead and check a few more bones uh, in weight paint mode, of course. Like, as for the elbow, I really don't know at the moment if this is alright. I don't have... You know, when it's done, it will be way easier to tell if it's good or not. You know, this looks fine to me. How about the fingers then? Yeah, it's not perfect here, but I think I can live with the results for now. Um, this is something that I will just optimize later on when I have the time. Just want to make sure that these two fingers, they tend to have issues. But let's see if, if that's true for for this project. Um, okay, they appear to be alright. This time the automated weights work pretty good, actually. So, this looks fine. Oh, wait a second. Well, you see, this is maybe a bit of an issue, how it deforms too much of the hand. So, let's just fix that a little bit by removing some weight here. And I might want to not too strong. Let's select the low strength and make sure to work very smooth uh, on, only with very um, low opacity brushes because you don't want to get hard edges. This will in many cases destroy the, the effect of you know the smooth rigging. Here also that's why I also have a huge brush and I try to work with low strength and then usually it works all right. You don't have to be worried about anything when you re remove weight, but when you add weight and you're not careful, you might add, we uh, add weight to um, you know, different parts of the body. So be careful on this one. It's a bit of a difficult thing to, uh, to keep in mind. So finally, we only have the legs left to do. The knees are definitely hard. Believe me, um, you very easily lose a huge amount of volume here and 
it looks very wrong. So, um, so what do you want to do? Uh, let me just very quickly check this here. This is something you did not see in the tutorial so far. Uh, I just undid a few settings so that you won't get confused. Now everything is the same on your side, so don't worry about it. Uh, so my solution to this is to add a third bone. We'll go back to edit mode and I will um, you know, select this intersection here and with shift E extrude forward to like this knee area here a new bone and I call the bone um, deformer knee left and knee right of course and this bone will has at the moment no vertex group but see how we can do it you just press on this bone and you will get this violet color and as soon as you start painting it will create a group and you will be all right and it also mirrored it so everything is perfect i'll just add a little bit of weight to the front and this gives you control over this area and, and hopefully, see, if you rotate it downwards, you get more volume out of it. So this is kind of a, a neat little thing you can do to improve it. But it, you have to con uh, animate it, obviously, later on. Uh, so accidentally, I added some weight back here. So I need to remove that. Of course, with more strength here. Good. Perfect, let's move on then. If this is not good later on, we can still fix it. Uh, the legs usually work, I mean, the, f the foot usually works pretty well. I don't need to fix anything here. Yeah, this time also worked very good. And now we should have everything. So everything that's related to rigging with uh, the bones is more or less done. So in the next part we'll set up the, the deformer mesh and therefore the whole cloth and yeah hopefully this tutorial was useful to you and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.